the fish is one of my favorites. The black cod is really fatty. And the real kind of star of the dish is our charred scallion vinaigrette. The dish itself can be eaten during the summertime, and you can also turn those into tacos anytime you'd like. Hey everyone, I'm Rick Lopez from La Condesa here in Austin, Texas. Today we're gonna to cook a little achiote marinated black cod with avocado puree and a charred scallion vinaigrette. So what we got here is a black cod. The head has been removed for us, scaled and gutted. And I'm just gonna take this bad boy down and start going for it. I'm a righty, so I'm using my right hand to just guide the knife through. It's super sharp. As we go down, you'll feel a little bit of those bones on your knife and it'll start to get a little bit bumpy. That's okay, that's what you're looking for. Once I get to this point, I go all the way through and I go right there and I leave this little tail part open if you can see that. I'll turn the fish and I start following my next line that I created right here. We'll open up this little flap right here. And as we go through, we're just gonna bring this whole filet off. And then this we'll reserve for later. So this next step here, our step right before we go to um, portion of marinade. We're just gonna clean it up a little bit. The bones and pieces we're gonna take off, being really mindful of our fingers here. We're almost there. Kind of square off our little filet here, and then just go into the filet. If the fish is a little jiggly, you can use your towel at this point. A little trick that I do, so we're not pin boning a whole bunch, is I'll go right down the center of this fish right here, just to give us two little fletches or two little sides within our side. And you have bones starting about right here in the center of the fish. We'll just lightly take away. And these are all bones right there. And then you can kind of see which portion sizes you want to go into. So we'll say not that big. These can be little extra tacos later on. We got our fish portion, taking care of that. Now we're gonna build this marinade. First part, achiote in. Just kinda like break it up a little bit with your whisk. It's gonna get a little nuts in there. You can use your hands and that's perfectly normal, that's perfectly fine. Little bit of oil, not to go crazy. And then as the oil and the paste start to get together, it's gonna like come together, get all pasty and stuff. It still looks a little bit chunky. When we throw it on the fish, it's gonna kind of like relax a little bit. And then once we go to let it hang out, everything will seep into the fish. We'll have a beautiful color. And then we can go right onto our fish. If you've hadn't tasted achiote before, it's gonna have a little bit of a tang to it, which is delicious and perfect for what we got going today. This type of paste or marinated is accustomed to the Yucatan. It's really hot over there in that part of the world. It not only marinates any of your proteins, but it also preserves. While this is marinating, you're thinking to yourself too, okay, we're getting the color, but we're also getting a little bit of preservation, so the cook time isn't going to be as long as you would think to cook fish on a grill. So we have our fish marinating here. We'll throw this into the cooler. We'll come right back and start doing our avocado puree. We gotta do a little bit of uh, grill work right now. These serranos, just lightly blister them up because this is gonna be into our avocado puree. And then the same with these scallions right here. We're gonna go onto this little griddle we have here. I've kept the tops on them because we're gonna chop them off anyway. So while we have our serranos blistering, onions also on the plancha, we're gonna do a little avocado puree part. Cut this guy in half, just be careful. Twist, now we're open. And then you are dealing with a sharp knife, so just use something that's gonna like help you peel it away nicely. We have our bowl to go into. So we're just gonna scoop right on in. And this is just gonna be kind of like a little rustic mash. This will be nice and cooling and fatty for when we start to plate up our dish. For these limes, squeeze them just a little bit to loosen them up right in half. And let's get all of that in there. So as we start juicing our limes, I can hear the serrano still blistering. The skin is basically just starting to separate. And that's what we're looking for, just a little bit of cook on those serranos to add a little bit of heat to this. So a little trick that I do here is just kind of like mash with your whisk. 
just kind of like emulsify the fat with its liquid and a nice texture to add with our fish. And that's that. So the serranos are ready. I'm gonna get them off of our griddle right now and just start to chop those up. We're gonna take off these little stem pieces right here. Now it's not a fully cooked thing. We're just like blistering these. So you can kind of see that the skin is starting to open up a little bit. Now we just wanna mince it. So everything all together, nice fast chops. Textures kind of look like this. And then we'll throw that into our bowl. I'll use our spoon to kind of fold it all back together. So this can be cooled down along with our fish. And then we'll start to build our charred scallion vinaigrette. We are gonna make our charred scallion vinaigrette, but we got a little bit of work to do. Peel some ginger. To peel this, I was always taught to like use the spoon method right there. And now we're gonna get some ginger. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're gonna get some garlic right here. So a little bit of pressure onto this guy. And then we'll use about three or four little pieces of garlic clove smash it down and then we're just gonna keep this whole and then whenever you can whenever um, you're peeling garlic and cameras are on you make sure you make a mess show them how it really is and as we start to grate you'll be able to smell the ginger and the garlic going through so we have this that looks delicious already and now we'll do some ginger same way ginger is not going to be so easy it'll be a little bit more difficult than the garlic to get its pulp out but still nonetheless worth it for this recipe here and I think we're in a good place. So we'll take this and throw it into our mixing bowl. Scallions are ready. I'm just gonna scoop them off the griddle here. Super hot, totally. Okay, and now I'm gonna chop these up. Careful with these onions right here. They're gonna be a little bit slippery. And this is where we can do our mincing work right here. Just a little bit of a chop, keep one hand free. Those last little bits, those green bits, the tops of the onion got really dried out. And that's what we're looking for. What that does is add a little bit of toast, a little bit of sugar, nice caramelization. Caramelization to our dish. This can go into our mixing bowl. And then we have our soy sauce, sesame oil. And if you've had sesame oil, you know it's really strong. So it's got toasty, but it's also delicious. So this is our yuzu. It looks like a, ya a lot of yuzu, but that's what we're looking for right here. Pinch of salt. Texture-wise, super happy about this. At this point, we will let this uh, sit in the cooler in our fridge, get the fish ready so we can start to griddle that up too. So right before we get into grilling our fish, start plating up, this is gonna be a little bit of cooling garnish right here. So we're gonna have some radish. So we're gonna cut these into little circles and then some little matchsticks. And then we'll throw these into some cold water. And then we have these tops of our scallions right here. And I'm gonna stack them on top of each other and get these flat and then cut them at an angle this way. And just keep that angle going. And then once these sit in with those radishes too, kind of be able to wash some of those sugars off. So really with this garnish, you just want it to set for about two or three minutes into your cooler or this ice bowl on the counter. Any longer, you're gonna kind of like get a little too soggy. But right before you're going to cook fish, get this going, then you're ready to rock. We're ready to grill. Fish has been marinating. We're gonna hit this with a little bit of oil, not so much, just a little drizzle. And then we're gonna season our fish now with a little bit of salt and pepper right on top. And then we go onto that little oil space again. All right, we're gonna let this hang out. We're gonna let it build a little bit of a crust. Try not to bug the fish too much, letting the heat do its thing. We found out that when you cook with this, carbon steel on our kitchens. Right here, it's gonna hold a lot of heat for us. So what that means is things can get cooked faster. Once you throw it on the flame, it's gonna build a heat and hold it for a little bit longer. This one's actually pretty cool because it's well cool to look at, but then also when it's holding this heat right here, it's pretty constant. So the same way it feels around this corner will be the same way that it feels in that corner as well. I brought some extra tortillas for us so we can maybe make some summer tacos and see how that goes. So if you wanted to add like a little bit of a super cool factor to whatever summer party you're gonna be throwing. Throw some tortillas in the mix. They could be corn, they could be flour. When we're looking for a crust right here, I'm gonna kinda get this spatula in and see what the fish has been doing. And I see a little bit of action going on. This part, that little ramp of the spatula right there, we're gonna try to scrape all these bits up that we've been creating and keep it all intact. It's gonna be a little tacky, but that's okay. We have some fun stuff on there, so we're gonna keep that. And it looks pretty gnarly at this point. I mean, it looks delicious. We built some of that crust right there. All those little burnt bits or like the cool parts that have caramelized, that's gonna be really delicious. So 
So we're gonna let this go for about a, another minute or so. I've dipped some of our tortilla into the grease, which is like chef's kiss. Once we get uh, everything going, we can go to plate. We have this avocado puree that we did here with some blistered serranos. Now remember, this is like the, the spicy surprise of the dish right here too. And then our fish that was marinated in achiote. We have our charred scallion vinaigrette. Plate here, we have our crispy bits, which is the scallion, the radish. Right on, so we did it. We grilled, we chilled, we conquered. Like I said, we can do something fun with it. We can like go forward right now, get crazy with it, or we can make some tacos, which is really, you know, one of those things that any time of the day, any time of the night, any time of the year, really, tacos are the jam. And that's what a little taco looks like right there. All right, we ready? Pinky up. It's good, it's delicious. All right, it worked. The fish is very fatty, so it'll flake apart perfectly. The achiote paste is like doing its part. It's got like that little twang here on the cheeks. The blistered serranos and the avocado, it's gonna like tingle on the tongue a little bit. That's what we're looking for. I'm Rick Lopez, chef here at La Condesa in Austin, Texas. Thanks for grilling with me. I hope I motivated you to do something nice at your space. I look forward to seeing you guys around. Cheers. Done.